Hey everybody, time for the update for the big tent, or large LED grow tent. Uh, let me get the goggles on here and I'll bring the camera over and show you the progress. So we haven't harvested off any more of these Asian greens and they've, this uh, one that we cut over here, you can see it has really filled back in. So it's definitely ready again for another cut. And I was thinking that uh, we might cut some of this for our dinner tonight because we're going to have a uh, uh, like a Indian curry with chicken dish with some rice and then uh, it will have this as a salad because it does have a mustardy taste so it'll be a nice uh, flavor diversity for the uh, the palate <laughs> I kind of got hung up in my words there <laughs> but anyway because uh, this has a mustardy taste and it's a really you know a mild mustardy taste so it would give a nice uh, you know balance to your your flavors for your evening uh, meal because you know you have the curries and the spices of the Indian spices and then you have this mustard to kind of you know set it off I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about half the time <laughs> the uh, the parsley here Paul has been coming down here and uh, cutting off some of the parsley and uh, we'll be taking two more of these these pots upstairs this week because Paul has chopped off pretty much all the, the parsley off the two that I put up there the other time and she has in our current kitchen window but, uh, you know, I told her to bring those down, and she's trying to regrow them up there. And they're, 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 they're trying, but it's like I told her, we have a grow tent downstairs. Why not just throw them in there, and we'll just, you know, grab two more pots. That's why I planted these. So we'll be rotating those out. The little peppers back there, they're really putting on a lot of fruit set back on there. So uh, we'll be harvesting some of those. I think that one little yellow one's almost ready to go back there in the back. Can't really see it with all the, the Mizuna growth there. But you can kind of see it tucked down inside there, back in the back. But there's some other green ones you can see. So they're setting fruit, which is a nice thing to see. I don't know to grow indoors. Here's the, uh, the red Russian kale. It's starting to set some nice, nice red colored purplish to their leaves. So it's getting, getting some nice size and height on it. So I haven't really harvested anything off of this in the last week. Because I wanted to let these leaves start to really start to show their full potential. And then you can see there's the white Russian kale. It's uh, gotten quite big. Remember the rows where I had harvested? They're almost filled back in because I haven't done any harvesting on any of the kales. I wanted to let them grow a little bit so you guys could see what they look like when they get a little bigger. Uh, the parsley is filled back in. You can see all this new growth we've got here. And then we've got the, uh, the beta mix chard back there. So it's, uh, you know, the beta mix is a chard with the beet greens. So I guess if you let those get big enough, you'd actually probably develop beet heads on some of that stuff. But uh, we'll harvest that off probably this week. And then we've got the, of course, we've got the parsley. It's just, you know, green and grows insanely well in here. And of course, we've got the garlic chives. Paula comes down here and chops these off, uses this in some of her sautés. And then we've got the uh, basil back here. Paula's been coming down and chopping off the, the tops here and getting them to leaf out new growth. So we've got a lot of new growth coming on in here. You can see where, like, you know, you chop the top here, you'll get a side shoot coming up here and a side shoot here. So, you know, that's one way to keep your basil in high production is to, you know, top it, cut it back down, let the sides grow up, top those, and then you just keep just continually side shoot growth. And eventually you'll run out of uh, momentum in the plant. But by that time, we're going to have the other basils from the uh, mid-size tent coming in here to take over. And then here's the chard. This is the Bates kale. Or not charred. <laughs> this is the Vates kale. And you see I'm letting it get bigger. And so you're getting a lot more, you know, bigger growth in here. This, this, what's inside of this box right now, this tray, would be a meal in itself if I harvested off just this. Paul and I could have a nice dinner with just this kale. And this stuff is really tender and nice. I mean, I'm surprised even at this size, when it gets up to the bigger sizes, it's still very soft and palatable. I mean, you can eat in a salad, you don't have to saute it down to get that tenderness. Then over here, we've got the, uh, the beta mix, another one. And uh, it's looking good. I came down, we cut we cut a couple of these out of here just to open it up a little bit, but uh, it definitely needs to be harvested because we've got a lot of crowding still. But uh, I'm happy with the regrowth because I did put some fertilizer in here and I'm noticing a lot more colorful regrowth. You know, you're getting a lot of the veining you see in these leaves. 
so it looks very nice and healthy. And you know that's going to be a nutrient-dense meal. And of course, you know, we've got the poinsettia, as always, sitting in the corner, just happy as can be. Looks like it's put on a lot of new growth out in these areas here. New leaf clusters. I mean, it's, well, this thing is sturdy. I have no idea what we're going to do with this little guy if, if, you know, he tries to, or she tries to, <laughs> tries to grow too big. Because uh, this is a food production tent, not a uh, ornamental greenhouse Christmas plants, but you can see, look at the stalk on that guy. That is just crazy. I mean, you don't see that kind of, I mean, that's a, look at that woody stalk. I mean, that is like a tree. Look at that thing. Holy cow. I mean, I've never seen poinsettias like that in the stores. I mean, that, that is that is a tree bush poinsettia. <laughs> I can't, I can't, you know, even if I have to, I'll set up some lights inside the house. We put a little heater there and we can have our own little poinsettia, you know, corner. <laughs> All right. Well, let me turn the camera back around here. This has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday for you people that like to uh, watch the sports on the TV. Hope you have a great day and don't get too hungover and uh, call into work tomorrow because I'll be work having to cover for you. <laughs> All right. This is Brian. Talk to you again. Bye.